middle, so we're looking at gluten where medius. it doesn't pop up is a little concavity okay. which actively is having the patient okay. AB duct we use the piriform can be helpful mm -hmm. to look at the piriform depression and but dissociate two, when we find that or differentiate between it the signifies medius that and minimus there is no glue and the or min that exists here yeah. which then means that we'll come to the top end of the depression and that will be right on the line for the PSIS okay, you want to come to the top end of the piriform okay. depression so that makes sense. Fingers palpating perpendicular to fiber yourself, type. Where you can find your own pure form of depression. Whereby you just, maybe you just stand, squeeze your butt. Noting the anatomy and the insertion of the glute medius and minimus in that fan-like uh, shape. Okay. As it Once ties into the greater trochanter. Here is the PSIS. Trying to find the posterior. Here is the trochanter. We're going to draw a line. Across barrier the threshold to the of the gluteus medius. Once we draw that line, we're going to perpendicularly palpate along that line. Okay? Okay, so and you, you got the line, very, very thin band, the superior line, the posterior fiber of the medius at this the border level. Okay? Of the piriformis so depression, and then you mark yourself. Perpendicular right. along that with just the finger so pads. That we're all in Again, the same, never losing contact, just kind of ant crawling along that threshold. We drew a line from sacral coccygeal area across to the trochanter, which signified the inferior border of glute max. Okay, so the inferior okay. border of glute max can be outlined by going coccygeal to the the, along the imaginary line the to the greater trochanter is your barrier or your threshold of glute max. Okay. Being superior to that is not glute max, though it's commonly misconceived as that. It's more adipose tissue. I'm going to have to consider that the angle does change okay. Okay, from PSIS towards ASIS. So I'm going to palpate the posterior fibers like so, okay. but as I walk my way forward, going so after have to make the posterior sure fibers currently, the fact that those fibers will change their angle, okay? Such that by the time I get to the ASIS trochanter line, I'm that you have to change in the your opposite direction. direction of palpation okay. with the because fingertips of fan tissue because of the fan-shaped tissue fan -shaped of the gluteus medius and gluteus. Okay, so I'm palpating medius. anterior fibers like so. You notice that it's very easy to push your way through the glute max. If, again, if you've ever done cadaver dissection, you understand that the glute max is not thick. 